dear students good morning to everybody so in subject mathematics and in unit 3 we have the chapter lines and angles some uh, classes have been taken regarding this uh, chapter so there is a gap uh, for few days uh, dear students and today we are going to continue the same chapter lines and angles so in that we have taken uh, completely uh, basics of these lines and angles we have already discussed about it in this uh, parallel lines and uh, a transversal we have discussed uh, some of the corresponding angles alternate uh, angles external uh, alternate angles and internal alternate angles and vertically opposite angles angles on the same side of the transversal so this is this we have already been discussed the students see here ab and cd are two parallel lines pq rs is a transversal so that uh, there are four set of corresponding angles created and uh, four set of alternate angles uh, uh, created so among four set two interior angles and uh, two exterior angles vertically opposite angles uh, also there are four sets we know it already angles on the same side of the transversal <coughs> and uh, so this is the thing which is already been discussed in our previous classes dear students and uh, today we recall all those things and uh, continue some of the axioms and the theorems see here corresponding angles what we have discussed it is there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 see angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles which are equal angle 2 and angle 6 are equal angle 3 and angle 7 you can see that see angle 3 and angle 7 so 3 and 7 angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angles and angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding angles so now you come to know what are corresponding angles okay it's already been discussed simply to recall i just uh, told you what are corresponding angles after that students we have alternate interior angles see here here uh, in this diagram itself we can uh, show the alternate interior alternate angles interior alternate angles see here in between these two parallel lines inside angles are interior angles alternate angles 4 and 6 are alternate angles angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate angles and these alternate angles are equal angle 3 and angle 5 angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate angles and these are interior alternate angles and exterior alternate angles so angle 1 and angle 7 angle 1 and angle 7 are the two exterior alternate angles and which are equal angle 2 and angle 8 are uh, two exterior alternate angles and these are equal so corresponding angles and interior and exterior alternate angles these two are the very important aspect dear students on the basis of these two corresponding angles and alternate angles we have axiom 3.3 we have axiom 3.3 what does it says let us see dear students this axiom 3.3 says that see in the pre, in the diagram itself you, you can observe if a transversal intersect see p q r s is a transversal if the transversal intersect two parallel lines a b and c d are two parallel lines to these two parallel lines p q r s is a transversal which has been intersect isn't it then each pair of corresponding angle is equal we know that what are corresponding angles by seeing this diagram this figure two parallel lines and one uh, transversal 
and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there are 8 angles here. You can easily find out what are the corresponding angles and that corresponding angles will be equal if there is two parallel lines and if there is one transversal then all the corresponding angles what is created here will be equal that is what the exam 3.3 says ok. Let us find out uh, what are the corresponding angles here angle 1 and angle 5 corresponding angles is not it you already know that and these corresponding angles are equal see angle 1 and angle 5 you only can identify angle 1 and angle 5 these are corresponding angle angle 2 and angle 6 these are corresponding angle angle 3 and angle 7 these are corresponding angles angle 4 and angle 8 these are corresponding angle these corresponding angles are equal when a transversal intersect two parallel lines there must be two parallel lines two lines must be parallel and uh, there is a transversal then the corresponding angles are equal this is what the axiom 3.3 says that is all dear students you just keep it in your mind about the axiom 3.3 now let us see about axiom 3.4 yes uh, dear students this axiom 3.4 says that if a transversal intersect two lines, there are two lines, whether they are parallel or not parallel, which is not being told. There are just a parallel, there are just a lines. If a transversal intersect two lines, two lines such that a pair of corresponding angles is equal, then the two lines are parallel to each other. See, two lines and one transversal has been drawn in such a manner that corresponding angles are equal. They have drawn to make the corresponding angles equal. Then the two lines what are, what are being drawn will be parallel. It means there are two lines which are drawn, they have not initially told that they are parallel lines or they are not parallel lines, nothing has been told. Simply they have drawn two lines and they have also drawn one transversal. In such a manner they have drawn these two lines and a transversal, then the corresponding angles are equal they have drawn these angles in such a manner that the corresponding angles are equal then what two lines have been drawn that will be parallel i tell you in kannada in order to make you understand very better eradu sarala rekegalannu eladiddare avu samantara sarala rekegalo athava sarala samantara sarala rekegal allavo annu antaddannu helilla Eradu sarala rekegalannu ondu chedaka rekegalannu yava reethi illi eladiddhar endare corresponding angle gudu equal aguva reethi illi eladiddhar e haga adare eladiru vantta eradu sarala rekegalu samantara sarala rekegal aguttta ve I hope now you could understand this two lines and a transversal have been drawn in such a manner that the corresponding angles are equal then what lines are drawn two lines are drawn and that are parallel see i write and tell you so two lines and a transversal is drawn such a manner that angle 1 is equal to angle 5 angle 2 is equal to angle 7 angle 6 angle 3 is equal to angle 7 angle 4 is equal to angle 8 these two lines and a transversal is drawn in such a manner that this corresponding angles are equal this corresponding angles are equal such that pq 
is a line and rs is a line pq rs are parallel if uh, corresponding angles are equal then two lines are parallel if two lines are parallel then corresponding angles are equal vice versa if corresponding angles are equal then automatically two lines will be parallel if two lines are parallel then corresponding angles will be automatically equal this is what the axiom 3.4 dear students you need to remember this now let us go to theorem number 3.2 yes dear students now we have the theorem 3.2 what does this theorem 3.2 says let us see that if a transversal intersect two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal okay once again pqrs is a transversal ab cd is two parallel lines if a transversal pqrs intersect two parallel lines intersect ab and cd lines then each pair of alternate interior angles alternate interior angles are equal that we have to prove so to prove we have four kind of uh, um, aspects as to discuss one data what is given ab parallel to cd is given and pqrs is a transversal okay ab and cd which are uh, two lines and th these lines are parallel and pqrs is a transversal to prove we need to prove something what we have to prove angle q is equal to angle r angle q is equal to angle r what is been indicated here that is the only one thing so if we indicate 1 2 3 4 if we give the uh, angles value and uh, that will be okay let us just prove angle q is equal to angle r this is the angle q and this is angle r particularly if we want to write bqr is equal to qrc if we prove this then automatically all corresponding angle will be equal this are this so proof yes let us prove that we know that angle q is equal to let us name it 1 2 3 4 okay 5 6 7 8 let us name it proof we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 1 is equal to angle 5 angle 1 is equal to angle 5 that is corresponding angle and angle 4 is equal to angle 8 angle 4 is equal to angle 8 okay we know that this is because corresponding angle there are still another two pairs of corresponding angle angle 2 is equal to angle 6 and angle 3 is equal to angle 7 these are also corresponding angles okay but what we need to prove that angle angle 1 is equal to angle 7 this is also angle 1 is equal to angle 7 and angle 4 is equal to angle 6 this is what we need to prove okay this is corresponding angles but 1 is equal to 5 angle 1 is equal to angle 5 we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 5 okay but yes let us call this is equation 1 so angle 5 is equal to angle 7 angle 5 is equal to angle 7 this is because of corresponding angle this is because of corresponding angle and uh, this is angle 2 uh, this is equation 2 angle 5 is equal to angle 7 this is vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles see angle 5 is equal to angle 7 that is vertically opposite angles see from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 here it is angle 5 and here it is angle 5 so from 1 and 2 equation 1 and 2 
angle 1 is equal to angle 7 angle 1 is equal to angle 7 see what we have to prove angle 1 is equal to angle 7 therefore that is angle q is equal to angle r isn't it so this is what we have proved dear students so theorem says that if a transversal intersect two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal this is one pair similarly similarly you can write similarly similarly angle 1 is equal to 7 similarly angle 4 is equal to angle 6 angle 4 is equal to angle 6 hence proved hence proved hence proved dear students so this is theorem uh, 3.2 so like that we have theorem uh, 3.3 and theorem 3.4 and theorem 3.5 all the three theorems we have dear students so this is the very somewhat important uh, theorem for you you get it understand and this is not uh, that much uh, difficult which can be understood and solved very easily okay so practice it for two three times certainly it will come and this is for your uh, kind information so now theorem 3.2 is have the proof but uh, what uh, there in the test book theorem 3.3 and theorem 3.4 and theorem 3.5 remaining three theorems does not have any proof it can be understood very easily yes let us see that what are those uh, uh, theorems see here theorem 3.3 if a transversal intersect two lines such that a pair of alternate interior angles is equal then the two lines are parallel see here because of these two lines and inter uh, one transversal alternate angle interior alternate angles are equal if lines are parallel then interior alternate angles are equal in 3.3 theorem what it says if the alternate angles are equal then these two lines are parallel okay thank you dear students let us see everything in the next class